what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back okay girl if you are new here welcome to my channel i talk about a lot of different body care hygiene and candle content however i will be doing a lot of other types of things in the near future here so please stay tuned for that if you vibe with me if you're into my content and you have been seeing me pop up on your feed and you have not went ahead and taken the plunge please go ahead and take two seconds to look to your bottom right make sure that subscribe button is pressed so you can be a part of the guru gang because i promise girl you are going to love it here okay but if you have been a part of the guru gang you've been rocking with me you already know what time it is girl this is going to be part two to my continued affordable body care layering series I just finished doing the s'mores routine and right before that i did a pumpkin spice routine so <laughs> this one i did in two parts because while i did want to focus on marshmallow as the scent i wanted to do marshmallow two ways girl okay i wanted to do marshmallow two ways because i love marshmallow that much that when i'm doing marshmallow routines i have two different ways that i think about marshmallow when i think about marshmallow i think about it in a more rich decadent dessert toasted seductive way for fall but there are also times where I want to have more of a marshmallow confectioner sugar candy sweet cotton candy marshmallow. And I feel like that's a totally different vibe than the marshmallow that you would see in s'mores and things like that. So with that being said, girl, this portion is going to be my marshmallow cotton candy confectioner sugar powder sugar whatever you want to call it girl. We just gonna say marshmallow cotton candy body care layering video. So I'm going to do it just like I did my last one, but I have completely different products that I want to talk to you guys about that I want to share with y'all. A couple of these are newer to my collection that I am starting to get to know a little bit more, but I have been loving them. And I hope that some of these affordable options are things that you guys will want to try or pull out of your collections if you already have them. So girl, without further ado, let's jump into step one. Okay, y'all. Now y'all already know you got to start with your shower. You got to start with what you are using in the shower so you can go ahead and build upon the scents. And of course, my last video, I talked about the native toasted marshmallow and vanilla, which is great. I definitely think it was great for the s'mores laying routine. But for this one, I wanted something a little bit more light and fluffy. So I used the crispy marshmallow bars from Philosophy. I have talked about this, I believe, in a previous haul where I hauled a bunch of Philosophy soaps. Um, but this is something that you can readily pick up in TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It pops up quite a bit in there so honestly you guys this is one of those things that you really just have to kind of grab it when you see it because if you guys regularly shop at tj maxx or marshall's you know that you never see the same thing in there twice unless they just have a bunch of it so when you see this in your tj maxx or marshall's girl just scoop it up because if you are able to find it on amazon it is like 10 times the price so i definitely recommend picking it up directly from there but i want to say you can actually find this scent in ulta as well sometimes so i will try my best to link it below if you don't see this philosophy scent linked below nine times out of ten you guys if i'm not linking a philosophy scent it's because you'd be better off finding it in tj maxx or marshall's but this one is definitely one of my favorite scents from them, hands down. I've talked about it before, um, but this is basically a marshmallow fluff type of scent. Like if you go to the grocery store and you go down the grocery aisle where the marshmallows are and you just open and unscrew a, a jar of the Jet Puff Marshmallow Fluff, that's literally what it smells like. It smells like fluffy, airy, light marshmallow like literally like if you're about to make rice krispie treats the marshmallow like it basically has the marshmallow goo with like almost like a rice krispie type of vibe in here which i want to say they have in the description yeah it says two bags of mini marshmallows a fourth a cup of butter crisp rice cereal melt butter in large saucepan arsh add marshmallow so yeah yeah that's literally what i basically just said like that is what it smells like for me um that is what it smells like to me and it's really just no fuss this is a great basic starting point for any marshmallow layering routine and it just gives you a nice cozy soft delicate wafting vanilla aroma and i just love it so definitely recommend and if i have not if i have not told you guys before because i'm pretty sure at this point i've featured some form of philosophy in every single video thus far but you can also use this as a shower gel um a shampoo and a bubble bath so if you're someone like me and you kind of like 
you know, products that you can use for different things. You can wash your hair with this as well if you want, you know, the marshmallowy type of scent to linger in your hair. You can take a bath with it. I love using these for, for the bath because they just lather really great and they just make really, really nice bubbles. So yeah, that is Philosophy Crispy Marshmallow Bars. All right, y'all. Now, the next one is one that's actually fairly new to my collection, but I have completely fallen head over heels for this one, y'all. So this is the Marzipan Dreams. If you did not see my latest TJ Maxx haul, please check that out. I will have a little card linked at the top so you guys can click on it and open it separately. But this is Marzipan Dreams, y'all. And when I tell y'all this literally smells like it smells almondy, but at the same time, if you're not familiar with marzipan, by the way, it's basically like an almond meal type of sweet, um, doughy type of dessert, but people use it to make a various types of desserts. And to me, this literally smells like fluffy macaroons. Macaroons have that sweet confectioner sugar almondy biscuity type of smell. And that's what this smells like to me. It almost smells like the powder or like just the the marshmallow dust marshmallow fluff like it's just super super sweet and it just has that tooth aching sweet where it's kind of like a cross between marshmallow and cotton candy to me so that is why i felt it would be perfect for this marshmallow cotton candy type of body type of layer and routine and i just love this you guys so definitely i have been seeing some of you guys tag me on instagram which by the way i love when y'all do that if y'all find some stuff that i talk about in my hauls or you guys are watching my hauls and you guys tag me while you're doing it like i love stuff like that okay like i'm so into it i just love when we all support each other because one thing i'm gonna do is, is support okay so anyways i love when y'all do that but anyways i definitely think that you guys should run out to tj maxx or marshall's and check for this one because out of all of the holiday philosophy scents so far this is definitely like my top top favorite now um and then right after that would be their christmas cookie scent which i do still have one from last year but i'm definitely on the lookout for one for this year so yeah that is marzipan dreams by philosophy guys now while i don't physically have the scrubs for these two brands that i'm going to talk about i have emptied them before i have used them and I am going to go ahead and talk about them interchangeably with the body butters that they match with. So the first one is going to be Sugar Rush by Ancient Cosmetics. Now, before I jump into that, I know Ancient Cosmetics has a toasted marshmallow scent. I unfortunately don't like that one. I just don't like it. It smells Play-Doh-y. It smells really, really weird. So if you guys want to try that one, I will, you know, link that collection below as well if you want to try some other ancient cosmetic scents. But I have always been a fan of their Sugar Rush, the body butter, the body oil, the body scrub. They even have they even started doing body mist as well. So Ancient Cosmetics is just a brand that I am super familiar with that I use quite a bit when I was on a no buy from Bath & Body Works. They are clean ingredients. It is a black owned brand and it is just a brand that I love to support, especially for their seasonal scents. So you guys make sure you are following them so you can keep up with the seasonal scents that they are going to start releasing because their seasonal scents are always usually really, really bomb. Sugar Rush to me, y'all, literally smells like fluffy marshmallow cotton candy like it literally perfectly depicts the type of scent that i wanted to capture for this video it smells like confectioner sugar it's got a little tiny bit of sweetness to it i mean not sweetness it's got a little tiny bit of fruitiness to it it's got that cotton candy vibe that sponge sugar vibe and if you look at the packaging it literally has cotton candy donuts and marshmallows on it so it was just perfect a match made in heaven for this video usually y'all when i buy stuff from ancient cosmetics i shop during a sale and i like stockpile so this is from if you guys can see i like how they put the dates on their um jars so it's not really focusing right now but i got this last year and it says it's 12 months so i need to actually hurry up and use this one up but look at how beautifully this rubs in y'all like their body butters are not heavy at all and i usually don't wear body butters and stuff in the summer so i did take a little break from wearing their body butters but 
now that it's starting to get a little chilly outside it's like 40 degrees in atlanta today um i'm very you know pleased to be able to pull out my body butters and i just love this and they have an amazing scrub that is in the same scent as well so the angel cosmetics um sugar rust scrub i'll put a picture right over here and i will link it below but i love their scrubs because they have similar texture to tree hut um even maybe i would say a little bit more coarse than tree hut but either or they have just those thicker sugar crystals that i love mixed in with those oils so it is one of those scrubs that's going to leave your body super super moisturized and again this scent in the shower just lingers it just smells sweet it smells literally like a cotton candy marshmallow bar like i don't even know how to explain it but it's just so tooth achingly confectioner sugar sweet and i just love it so yes y'all i would definitely recommend the body butter the scrub as well as the body oil and i myself actually need to pick up the five fragrance mist and try it out because i have not tried it yet but yes that is sugar rush by angel cosmetics next little brand is actually truly so if you guys watched my very first ulta haul on here um i talked to you guys about the truly brand now they have their unicorn cbd butter as well as their unicorn cbd body polish i'm not a hundred percent a huge fan of the body polish honestly because i've told you guys before i prefer more thicker coarse types of scrubs but i did just want to let you guys know that that brand does carry the scrubs as well but the body butter again is another super super sweet that one is a little bit more sweet tart cotton candy type of vibe, um, but it's still super, super sweet. It reminds me of cotton candy. And the way that they do their packaging and how they put everything in their little jars, it's just so cute. They use glass jars and everything always just smells really good, y'all. And it just literally melts into your skin. So that is another brand that I would recommend either their body butters or their body polishes. If you are someone who likes body polishes or you don't really like super coarse scrubs i definitely recommend that brand and it is also a vegan clean brand as well and you can pick their stuff up from ulta so i will definitely link that below okay you guys and then the last little body butter type of item um before i move into my lotion this is going to be just the regular fresh cream so i know in my last video i did fresh cream warm cashmere and i used that one for the s'mores routine just because it was a lot more woody and it had those um woody smoky undertones that makes me think of s'mores but this is the original fresh cream you guys so i've told you guys before i use the fresh cream um perfume quite a bit with layering routines because it really just adds that creamy whipped milkiness that you may want to add to any type of gourmand layering scent um and i just feel like it is literally the epitome of the perfect ultimate perfect like layering scent um so of course i got the body butter so this was a tj maxx pickup now this is not the one with the with the beads in it that one was a completely different texture than this one so this is actually the gel um this is actually the glazed body souffle and if you guys look it is like really really creamy it's actually a lot thicker than the um one that has the beads in it and i actually find the glazed body souffle to be a little bit more moisturizing than that one believe it or not so i really really love the formula of this you guys it makes my hands super soft you guys can see that it has a little bit of sheen on it i know i had the ancient cosmetics body butter on there too but it's just super super soft and whipped and it just has that whipped milky rich sweetness to it and it just goes perfectly with this routine because it just gives that light fluffy airiness to the routine so it's not super super weighed down with sickening sickingly sweet you know cotton candy vibes but this gives it a little bit of rich airiness makes it a little bit more milky a little bit more lactonic and this is just a great layerable scent to add into your routine to break up something that might be a little overwhelmingly sweet or slightly masculine or anything like that so yes this is the philosophy fresh cream glazed body souffle okay you guys now on to a couple of body lotions now this one actually both of these body lotions that i'm going to talk about you guys if you don't have them in your collection unfortunately i would not even recommend going to mercari to try to find them because they have not come out in so long that at this point I'm at the point where I have to use up what I have before it actually starts to go bad and I would recommend other people to do the same like I would not really recommend going to buy these scents off of Mercari if you do I would recommend maybe getting the fine fragrance mist because those would probably still be okay 
But when it comes to lotions and body creams and like things like that, these two lines are just so old that they're not super, super old, but they're old enough to where they're getting to that point where they're gonna be expired soon. First one is going to be wrapped in sugar, y'all. First of all, the packaging, the packaging, the packaging, listen. So this one came out in a Christmas collection with a few other scents, but this was definitely my favorite. The notes in this are coconut martini, marshmallow musk, soft amber, and warm woods. Mm. And y'all, when I literally tell y'all this smells like coconuts and marshmallows and powdered sugar like I don't get a whole lot of woods necessarily and I also don't really get like martini like I don't know where that came from but this is just the creamiest milkiest powder sugar marshmallow smell oh oh my god y'all it smells so so good this is definitely a very authentic powder sugar marshmallow scent it's very no fuss the coconut really just adds a little bit of creaminess to it but it doesn't come off tropical at all in any way this literally just smells like ooey gooey marshmallow sweet sugary fluff like oh it just smells so good i love this i only have i think i have maybe two lotions left of this so i am going to be trying to use this up soon because i think this is this is actually from 2019, so it's not as old as I thought it was. I don't know why I'm thinking it's like super, super old, but yes, this is from 2019, so I am going to try to use this up. Um, if you do want to look for this, I would definitely check it out on Mercari. I'm sure there's somebody reselling it. Also, the Fine Fragrance Mist is really, really cute. The packaging is really cute for that, but I use mine up, so... All I have left right now is a couple of the body lotions, but I'm not mad at it. I love it. And this scent just smells so delicious and mush marshmallowy and good. So yeah, that is Wrapped in Sugar by Bath & Body Works. All right, y'all. Now, <laughs> I have actually just recently talked about this in a few videos. I just talked about it in my Skylar video and I talked about it in a discontinued sense that I want to return to Bath & Body Works. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you will know that I actually <laughs> hauled this quite a bit during one summer semi-annual sale. I was going overboard with this scent, y'all. Like I'm talking about, I was buying the body creams, I was buying the body lotions, I was buying the fine fragrance mist. Like what, and never, whenever I saw this scent in the store, y'all, I stocked up on it. I stocked up on it and I've finally gotten down to the wire when it comes to my collection of it. This is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. And I have told you guys before, this is literally my number one favorite gourmand scent from Beth and Body Works. If you love marshmallow like I do and you never got a chance to try this, girl, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry because this is just, oh my God. It never gets old, it never gets old. And even with this one, the scent is actually kind of turning a little bit, but the notes in this are whipped vanilla, marshmallow meringue, white magnolia, and fluffy sandalwood, y'all. Oh, oh my God, y'all, y'all. This is just truly the best milky, fluffy, vanilla, marshmallow, like the wood, the sandalwood in here anchors it down a little bit. So it's not like just completely an airy scent, but it literally smells like marshmallows and clouds. Like I have no idea how they were able to capture that, but it's just, oh my God, y'all. It just smells so sweet and good, like powdered sugar and marshmallows and clouds. I don't really get whatever this floral magnolia scent, I've never gotten that in here. It just smells like the most delicious, soft, fluffy marshmallow and it just fits perfectly into this routine. Whether you're trying to capture a, can a cotton candy aspect, whether you're trying to capture a marshmallow aspect, like this is just the perfect layering scent and I love it so much. And this bottle is, this bottle is from 2018, girls. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use it up because as you guys can see, the color is starting to turn a little bit and I just wanna go ahead and use it up and just get it out of my collection because I have this theory in my head that if I use it up completely, maybe Bath & Body Works will bring it back. Like that's just, I don't know. That's just the thing. Like anytime I completely run out of a scent and I'm like missing it in my collection, Bath & Body Works like brings it back that year. So I'm gonna use it up y'all and hopefully they bring it back because I know they've been hearing us ask for it and I am not the only person that loves this scent. Like this scent is just a crowd favorite and everyone loves it. So yes, that is Walk Marshmallow Clouds by Bath & Body Works. Okay girl, now we're gonna move on to the fine fragrance mist. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Basic Vanilla by Pink Victoria's Secret. Now, 
if you guys followed me when I first hauled this, I told you guys that I was a little un I was a little underwhelmed by it. And I told you guys I even took it back to the store because the longevity just was not doing it for me. But what I have learned with Pink Scents as well as some other fine fragrance mist um, brands that I will tell you guys about momentarily, I've learned that the best way for me to get longevity with their scents is to just spray my clothes down. So I went ahead and repurchased this again and added it back to my collection. And I'm happy to report that my theory pretty much worked. I just have to completely douse myself down and douse my clothes with their fine fragrance mist. But this one is definitely a slightly, I don't want to say spicy, but the notes in this are Vanilla marshmallow and warm chai. It says a pure vanilla obsession infused with fireside cozy. And this could have easily fit in with my marshmallow s'mores routine, but I feel like it can go either way. Well, I do feel like this has a little bit of those chai spices in here. Overall, I my nose really just picks up a very powdery marshmallow. And that's the type of scent that I really, really love when I'm trying to do a marshmallow cotton candy type of scent because I really want to capture that powderiness, like the little powdery dusting that's on top of your marshmallows. Like that is the type of scent that I love. And I feel like I really get that from this. Um, it's really exactly what it says. It's super basic. Like it's literally the most basic marshmallow scent with a little tiny bit of chai thrown in there. But I'm not mad at it. It's perfect for layering and it goes perfectly with this routine. So this is the Pink Basic Vanilla. All right, y'all. Now, since we're talking about brands that do not have the best longevity, unfortunately, this is another one for me. So this is Candy Corn by The Good Scent. Now, I have hauled this before. I even included it in my... Uh, video where I was talking about the top mist I'm going to be using for fall. Um, I had two separate videos. I had a Bath and Body Works version and a non Bath and Body Works version. And I had this one in there. And I basically told you guys like it smelled like the white part of the candy corn to me that marshmallow powdery sweet goodness. I get a little bit of almond in here. The notes are warm sugar almonds and marshmallow accord. But for the most part, you guys, I'm definitely getting a very crunchy sweet like the harder marshmallows like the marshmallow um candies in a way like the ones that are kind of chewy like that's what it smells like to me it smells like that it smells like the white part of the candy corn where it's a little bit crunchy which i'm guessing is like the almond coming through like it almost comes across a little nutty but for the most part i definitely get marshmallow in here super super sweet and it's one of those scents that you won't have to feel like you're going to offend anyone when you're wearing it because you are going to have to reapply it constantly like the good scent I'm learning just does not have the best longevity with their fine fragrance mist. If you are not familiar with this brand, this is a brand that is sold in TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I've picked up a couple of their scents this year. So I do really, really love how this smells. But again, you guys just need to be prepared that you are going to have to reapply and you are going to have to spray yourself down. But at the end of the day, you guys... That doesn't always have to be a bad thing like i know sometimes we're always like oh my god it doesn't last or it doesn't project but at the end of the day when you're buying things that are affordable especially if it's cheap you can't expect it to last forever you know what i'm saying and i'm not going to treat my two and three hundred dollar perfume bottles the same way i'm going to treat a fine fragrance mist that's four and five dollars you know what i'm saying i'm going to overspray something like this and it's also going to help me use it up faster and want to try other things so I personally don't care as much when it comes to longevity of things that are cheaper. Now, if I'm talking about a $200 perfume and it doesn't last, that's a whole different thing. But I'm not going to overspray my expensive perfumes. I'm going to spray one or two spritzes because I want it to last. And then I'm going to top it off with something else. But when it comes to fine fragrance mist, I want to hurry up and use it up as quick as possible. Do what I need to do with it and go from there. And that's what this does. It serves its purpose. It gives a nice little layer, a nice little dynamic to this routine. And I just love the smell of it. So yes, that is Candy Corn by The Good Scent. Okay, girl, the last fine fragrance mist we're going to talk about is actually a scent that I think a lot of people forget has marshmallow in it, but this is Pink Berry Clouds. Now, I know not a lot of people are a fan of this scent, so girl, if you have this in your collection or you just don't like it, just go ahead and skip to the next part, but I am a super fan of this scent, you guys. So the notes in this are strawberry sponge sugar, marshmallow fluff, and fresh air. And this literally has that like cloud aspect to it, like the fresh air, I definitely can smell in here. But what I love the most about this, you guys, is how the strawberry and the marshmallow combines because it really does give me a cotton candy type of vibe. It just comes together and gives like a spun sugar 
cotton candy marshmallowy type of vibe like that's literally what i get it smells like a sweet sweet cloud like they get the names spot on with these sometimes you guys because that's literally what it smells like there is a little bit of a green i don't want to say green or it's just a little bit of a fresh aspect to it i would say so this is definitely something that can add a little bit of a more interesting layer to your marshmallow cotton candy routine to where it's not going to smell super super juvenile it's going to add a little bit more of an almost perfumey aspect to it but i definitely am a huge fan of this one i love it and i need to actually wear a lot more because i kind of forgot that i had it so i will be adding this in to my fall perfume i will be adding this into my fall fine fragrance mist rotation but if you guys want to know what other fall bath and body works mist i will be wearing primarily please make sure you check out that video um i will have a little card linked up top if you did not see that but yes this is pink berry clouds okay y'all i don't know how i was about to completely skip over this but hello you can't do a marshmallow cotton candy layering routine girl without cotton candy clouds hello okay so i feel like cotton candy clouds is like pink berry clouds and boardwalk marshmallow clouds together like it's literally marshmallows and cotton candy like that's what i smell the notes are sponge sugar pink berries and whipped vanilla and this is definitely a crowd pleasing scent literally almost everyone who has tried this loves it it just perfectly balances berries sponge sugar and cotton candy in a way that it doesn't smell super super juvenile but at the same time it's playful it's light it's airy it's fluffy it's sweet and I just love this. This is a perfect layering fine fragrance mist, especially if you are trying to capture that sponge sugar, confectioner sugar, cotton candy type of vibe. And I mean, it's literally named cotton candy clouds. Like, how can you not? How can you not? So yes, that is cotton candy clouds by Bath the Body Work. Okay, girl, now let's go ahead and get through these perfumes. So the first perfume we're going to talk about, obviously, is Skylar Boardwalk Delight. If you guys did not see my review on this fragrance, please check it out. We'll link it up top. But this is literally a perfect cotton candy scent. It is unfortunately only available in a rollerball right now, so I will link that below. But if you did not watch my review, I basically said that this is going to be coming out in a full size perfume and i'm so excited about because as you guys can see i have put a little dent in this this is basically coconut cream and cotton candy so it has a vanilla in it it also opens up with a little bit of raspberry and apple but it kind of goes away you're really just left with a very milky cotton candy vanillic type of scent and i love it it's not super loud projecting or beast mode or anything but it just smells really really sweet really really good and if you love cotton candy scents girl you need this so without going too deep into detail just check out my review if you want to hear more about this scent but i love it and it goes perfectly with a cotton candy marshmallow layering routine that is boardwalk delight by skylar hey girl so the next affordable perfume which i will have linked below this is rose marshmallow candy from zara so if you want to take a more seductive grown woman spin on marshmallow girl and candy this is definitely the one for you this is basically the more affordable affordable version of uh Killian's Love Don't Be Shy which you, if you guys do not know Rihanna made that scent fly off the shelves because it was known as her signature scent for quite a while which I'm sure she's probably changed it at this point now that everyone knows about it but this is basically a marshmallowy orange blossom type of scent um I don't personally get a whole lot of rose in this I know some people say that the rose in this throws them off but for me I mostly just get a very, very sweet orange blossom and marshmallow, and I love it. It is a wonderful little cheapy. Um, just a tidbit, though, if you are looking for this in the store and you're not ordering it online, you do have to look in the kids section because this is sold in the kids section. So this is actually an eau de toilette, but for me, it performs like an eau de parfum. Like on my skin, it lasts for quite a little while it gives me at least two to four hours of wear on my skin if especially if i'm layering really well with it and when i spray it on my clothes it lasts even longer than that so i love this this is definitely a little hidden gem some people have had mixed experiences with this but i personally have had great results with it and i love having this on the days where i don't want to wear my killian because as you guys know it's very pricey so 
I'm very happy to have a cheap little dupe that I can throw on. Okay, girl, the next perfume we're gonna talk about is Ellis Brooklyn Sweet. So if you guys did not watch my Ulta Platinum Day haul, please check that out. I will link it up in the cards below. Hopefully I have not run out of cards by now, girl, because you know they only let us add five per video. But I did haul this and I have completely fallen in love with this scent. Now this is primarily a pear, musk, and marshmallow scent. And if you like Ariana Grande's God is a Woman and things along the sort, you will definitely like this. This definitely leads with that pear, but as it starts to dry down, you really just get a musky, marshmallow sweet type of scent. It also weirdly smells like Swedish fish, but it just has that very powdery, sweet quality about it that you smell on both marshmallows and Swedish fish. So I just love this scent, y'all. It is so sexy to me. I get so many compliments when I wear this. It's definitely a very cozy fall scent, but at the same time, it's super, super sweet and warm and inviting. And I just love mixing this with so many other more lactonic and milky type of scents. It just creates the most delicious fall combo. And I just love using this in my marshmallow cotton candy themed layering routines because it really just has that very sweet candy Swedish fish type of vibe and I just love it so much so yes that is sweet by Ellis Brooklyn again I will have this linked down in the description box below okay girl the last perfume we're gonna talk about is Moonlight by Ariana Grande now first of all the bottle is just perfect the bottle just perfectly it reminds me of a marshmallow because it's like white it's iridescent it's got like the little colors around it it literally reminds me of a marshmallow but this is Moonlight so there are two other um ones in similar bottles to this there is Ari and they're sweet like candy and honestly you guys you probably could use either one of those in this type of routine as well because they have that very sweet marshmallowy fruity quality but I feel like this one honestly smells the closest to a powdery marshmallow type of scent that I want because this has plum in it and it has marshmallow in the dry down but for me I really just get a super powdery marshmallow scent that is what my nose picks up and I think the plum just adds a nice little element to kind of anchor it down and give it some richness but overall you guys this scent is just a very sexy seductive marshmallow scent for me my only issue with it again I do have to overspray when I wear this because the longevity is not that great so this is one that I have to definitely spray down my clothes with if I really really want this to last and I do have to take the bottle with me if I do plan on wearing this for the day because you're gonna have to reapply it but again y'all it's literally like $15 if you find it in TJ Maxx or Marshalls so if you get through it you get through it you can get another one you know what I'm saying it's a, it's an affordable perfume for a reason so but I do feel like this is personally my favorite of the three between Ari and Sweet Like Candy because I just feel like it's not your typical juvenile marshmallowy scent it just smells really warm and if you like sweet powdery scents I definitely think this is one that you should try you know I have to end with a little lip item so this is the marshmallow chapstick so I actually meant to talk about this in my s'mores video but I kind of forgot about it but this actually comes in a three pack that is a s'mores themed chapstick bundle so you can pick it up from amazon i will link it below as well as my amazon store but this is literally just a genuine fluffy sweet creamy marshmallow chapstick smell i love this one it actually tastes really good i honestly never have any issues with chapstick lip balm and this is one that i usually always repurchase this three pack i always repurchase i usually always repurchase this in the cake batter one but either or you guys this marshmallow one is just a perfect easy to throw on easy to keep in your bag and you can use it as a base for any other lip glosses and things that you might want to add on but it's super creamy super sweet and it tastes really good and I love it okay y'all that is it for this marshmallow installment to my affordable body care layering series I do have some other ones coming up so please try to refrain from suggesting which ones I should do because honestly, I probably have already thought of it and I probably already have a nice little list of things that I'm gonna talk about. So I have two more coming, hopefully in the next week or so. So please stay tuned for those. But that is it, you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for your continued support. I really appreciate you guys' feedback on these videos and I hope that you guys are enjoying them just as much as I am enjoying filming them. But that is it, you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.